Number 18, a form of higher question. An isosceles triangle PQR, indicating the two sides that are the same here. The angle at Q is X to show that this expression holds. Right, now I think this time I'll need to keep my P's and Q's and R's in just for reference points. Well, if we're talking about using the sine rule, and I know P and R, I'll be wanting these two angles. Well, so I'll just put a quick note when I put the note. I know the angle P, if I can just refer to it quickly like that, there's no ambiguity. Angle P, being one of the base angles of the isosceles triangle, must equal X, and I was given the reason for that. It's isosceles. And then angle R will be 180 minus both of them, so it'll be minus 2 times X. Now I can use my sine rule, so that if I start with the one for P for instance, I've got, I'll just write it down, I've got sine P over P would equal sine R over R. So sine X over the P will be sine of 180 minus 2X over the R, and that's straightforward the one that you know. That'll just be the same as the sine of 2x, which immediately takes you to that, but that almost looks as if you just jump straight to that. You could multiply it all out. It's a little bit tedious, I suppose. And in the days when they asked this, those were one of the identities you were meant to know anyway. But if I was to put it all out, it'd be like this. Sine 180 minus 2x. I'll leave the degrees out just to save us time. Sine 180 cos 2x minus cos 180 sine 2x. Sine of 180 is 0, cos of 180 is negative 1, that comes to nothing, there's plus 1, so that just comes to nothing plus sine 2x. So I can safely say what I knew all along, that that just equals sine 2x over r. And that was the first bit done. Two parts here. State the value of x when p equals r. Now these two sides are the same. So if R is also the same as P, then all three sides are the same, in which case that triangle would have to be equilateral. So that straight away, I know that X is going to be 60, because if P equals R, then I've got an equilateral triangle. I'll just put equilateral down as my reason. Put it up here. Well, if P equals R in this equation, and P equals R means that those would divide out, simply I would have sine x equals sine 2x, swapping the sides, sine 2x, because I've now got a double angle equation, minus sine x equals 0, expand that to sine x cos x, minus sine x equals 0, factorise it, take out the sine x, leaves you 2 cos x minus 1 equals 0, which means that either sine x equals 0, or if that bracket is equal to 0, cos x equals the opposite divided by the multiplying number, cos x equals a half. Now they've got a variety of answers, but you know that in the triangle, the angles are acute. So the angle is going to be between 0 and 90. So out of all of these answers, if I was to write them down first of all, what would I have? I'd have 0, 180, 360, that's 60, and that's 300, which means that x equals 60, strictly speaking, or x degrees is 60 degrees. Since you know that x is greater than 0 and less than 90, or, if you like, putting the degrees in them all. There it is. Oh.